Welcome to Kehan Life. This is your weekly Iran news update. A high-ranking Iranian cleric was shot and killed in Iran's Mazandaran province while visiting a bank in the area. State media reported that the attacker fired shots at the cleric's back before being disarmed by uniformed men. Ayatollah Abbasali Soleimani was a member of the Assembly of Experts, a powerful body which appoints the country's supreme leader and also has the power to monitor or remove the leader. Soleimani also served as Ayatollah Khamenei's personal representative and was considered to be a hardliner, favouring separate public spaces for men and women. The motive for the killing remains unclear. The death sentence for detained German-Iranian Jamshi Charmad was upheld by Iran's judiciary this week, following a conviction for corruption on earth. The government had accused Sharmad of leading a pro-monarchist group accused of a deadly 2008 bomb attack in Iran, a charge he has always denied. The decision was called unacceptable by the German government, which added that Shahmad had not been given a fair trial. And the daughter of Morad Tabaz, an Iranian-American with British citizenship detained in Iran, said she had lost faith in US President Joe Biden's efforts to free her father. Tara Tabaz told Reuters that she had not seen any action to secure her father's release, who has already served five years of a 10-year sentence following a conviction for spying. The U.S. State Department called on Iran's government to release Tabaz and several other foreign nationals on April 22nd, accusing officials of using the detainees as political leverage for the regime's own ends. Thank you for listening and stay safe.